Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a review on Chiruto's Mysterious Tobacco. So, where have you been, I hear you ask? Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, basically moved out as a few of you already know um, and we've had a lot of work done we've had new boiler new bathroom carpets all the way through and then obviously when you're having the carpets put in a lot of the stuff you can't do until the carpets are in so we've been working on that been doing the loft been doing lots of different things um, but the majority of it is done now I've even built myself a new cabinet which I'm really happy with. So, Aroma Concepts, you might be aware of those, they've sent me some fragrances in the past, always happy to review their products, really good company. Um, so a few of them they sent me I haven't liked and I've always, I'm always the sort of person that likes to see the good in a fragrance, even if it's not something I would enjoy, I can see the certain parts of a fragrance which somebody else would enjoy. So I do try and find the good in things. If I really don't like a fragrance from the off, I won't review it. Um, what I have been doing recently is asking for samples. They send the samples and then I'll pick out the best one that I like and then ask them to then send the bottle if that's what they wanted to do. And then I can review it from there. At least then I know that I like the fragrance in the first place. I've had stuff been sent to me in the past and I haven't reviewed it. So, what I'm going to do, Chiruto Mysterious Tobacco is a new fragrance from the line. Now, previously, I've had this, which is the Tobacco Vanille, and I reviewed that, and you can find the video up there, which I really enjoyed. So, when they sent this one, I didn't even realise it was out. I was over the moon and looking forward to trying it. I really like my tobacco scents and as we're going into autumn winter I thought brilliant this is going to be perfect. Well let's smell it first shall we. So Chiruto is a subsidiary of Paris Corner. Paris Corner is a Middle Eastern company they tend to do a lot of interpretations of other fragrances. What I've heard about this one is it's based on Carolina Herrera's, I think it's called Mystery Tobacco and it's from their Confidential line. So we'll give it a try and see what we think. Let's open it up first. So looking at the presentation, the box looks really nice, I really like the effect on it, nice red and it's got like a gold, green and black band that goes around it. It's got the guy smoking the cigar on there, Chiruto, which he'd had on the previous one which I think is a great touch. And there's the name Mysterious Tobacco. It says Pandora Scents, Pandora the ones which are subsidiary of Paris Corner and this is a 100ml Eau de Parfum. So on the top you've just got Chiruto, on the back there's a few Paris Corner details and the Paris Corner hologram and then on the bottom you've just got some barcodes. So let's take a look at it. Now the previous bottle is a really nice bottle that they sent so if this is along the same lines it's going to be just as nice and it is that looks gorgeous so it's like a, a red glass that looks really really nice can you see the red glass there's nothing going on on the back and the sides it's got a little bit on the bottom and then you've got a nice 
plastic cap with Cheruto in and then on the front you've got a nice little gold plaque with Cheruto and the guy smoking the cigar again reminds me a bit of uh, Fidel Castro and then it's mysterious tobacco Pandora scents so we will give it a spray um, I'll spray this onto skin because um, I need to wear it for a few days what I'm going to do in this video I'll give you my first impressions now then I'll wear it for a few days and then I'll come back to you and I'll tell you about the performance and all the other things you need to know so let's have a look at the atomizer decent atomizer on it and it's a gorgeous smell straight off beautiful tobacco that is nice <laughs> so you're talking you're getting the tobacco straight away but you're also getting like um, a spiciness and also a few citruses in there there's like um, a ginger coming through but the main thing is tobacco. Tobacco is took over the whole thing. And from what I can remember from another fragrance that I've got, which is and also an interpretation of this, that it's got a very similar sort of vibe to it. Oh, that is gorgeous. That really is nice. There's like a slight peach feel to it. It's got a green herbiness feel. It's really, really nice, really enjoyable. So that is my first impressions of that. And I can see straight away, I'm gonna like this. But what I'll do, I'll go away for a few days, give it a good testing, and then I'll come back to you and let you know what I think about it. In the meantime, I'll give you some B-roll footage of the bottle so you can have a closer look. So I've been wearing it now for um, three days. Uh, well, three and a half days if you count today as well. Um, price and availability. This is 25 pound for 100 mil EDP. You can get it from aromaconcepts.co.uk. And if you use the code SENT10, you can get 10% discount. But always look out for other discounts. They're always doing something at some point and you might even find a bigger discount than, than mine. Um, I don't get any kickbacks. It's just for you guys. It was something that I requested so as I could pass on any savings that you could get. So originality. Well, it's an inspiration. So it's not an original fragrance. Uh, the note listing suggests it's a copy of Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco and a bottle of that will cost you around about £215, so quite expensive. Um, I have tried a similar one to it before which was by Fragrance World and that was called Tobacco Myth and this actually looks like the Carolina Herrera Mystery Tobacco bottle. And even the packaging looks the same, just with a different name. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see what the Carolina Herrera bottle and packaging looks like. So it is different. It's a copy, but it's something that you won't smell on your regular people out on the streets. Um, it, it has got a vibe to it, which you don't find anywhere else. Is it linear? It does change. Initially you get a pop of citruses and ginger, but as the wearing of it goes on, it gets more chocolatey in the dry down. So it definitely changes over time. Projection, I would say about two hours plus. I've got good projection off this. Longevity, you was probably talking 
six hours, maybe eight hours. I made the mistake of when I've sprayed it, I've then put a scarf on straight away when I'm going out. So I've had the smell off the, the clothing. Um, I've tried spraying it on the house and you don't get the same effect. You don't get the coldness, which you would get when you're outdoors, which you really need for a fragrance like this. So I would say six hours, it can come a skin scent. Sometimes you have to dig into your arm to smell it, but it's quite good, I'd say above average. Who to wear it? I would say it's more of a masculine scent, but definitely one which I'd suggest that women would try. I'd, I'd love to smell it on the wife, so if that's anything to go by. When to wear it? I'd definitely say it's an autumn winter fragrance, more for the colder days, something to cuddle up to in your scarf or your jumper. Um, or a dressed up occasion I think if you're going to an evening do somewhere I think something like this would work very well compliments well the wife really isn't into tobacco fragrances but she does like this one so you've got a thumbs up from her at least so my overall thoughts I would say this is mainly a tobacco scent but I get a pop of ginger and citrusy in the opening, but it doesn't take long for that tobacco to take the front and center of the stage. It's a photorealistic sort of pipe tobacco. It's quite sweet, but it's dry and smoky at the same time. So it's a really enjoyable tobacco. I get a spicy woodiness coming from this, which could be the ginger hanging around. And like there's a there's a slight peachy feel coming from it. There is a slightly earthy patchouli in there with a bit of green vetiver, which could be the Artemisia mixing with the normal vetiver. Um, I know Artemisia can be a bit green and herbal, and it can have a slight bitterness, and you do get like a a slight bitter feel from this fragrance. But I, I totally like that feel in it. The base takes a while to come in and you get a powdery chocolate feel mixed with a sweet vanilla. That sweetness I really enjoy. It could be coming from the tobacco but it could also be coming from the tonka and the patchouli mixing which is also giving it that powdery chocolate feel. So it's a great frag. I haven't tried the original but I've tried the Fragrance World one and they're very similar so they're definitely barking up the right tree. It does get compared to Red Tobacco by Manchera, which I also own. I think this is a lot more punchy and bitter. In fact, you would probably say that this one is, a, if you wanted a smoother version of Red Tobacco without the tangy opening, then I think you'd probably be better with this one. But I really enjoy that so but I think a way I can work it is probably having for different occasions I really enjoy that and I can see some of the similarities but there's not many notes that are the same but because of the tobacco and because of the spices that are in there that's why they get compared so if you want something that's a bit more mellow than red tobacco if red tobacco doesn't float your boat then this one could do the job so is it a hit or a miss? I'd say it's a big hit for me. I've really enjoyed wearing this over the last few days. It's been perfect. I've even wore it today when I've been trying to help fix a fence which has been blown over in the gales. Um, and we've got snow as well. It's amazing. Uh, is it worth the money? I'd say it's a fraction of the price of the original. It smells great and it's got good performance. So definitely say it's worth the money. So that's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's the first one in a while, but hopefully I'm going to get back and get start getting some more videos out. Um, I would love it if you would like and subscribe this video and leave a comment below. What's your favourite tobacco fragrance? Let me know. Is there any out there which you would recommend to me? So I will see you next time. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.